What if I told you that I've come up with a system that allows you to template your emails, send them, and track them all within a handy app? And in fact, if you follow this system, I bet you can save four to five hours a week from being in your inbox. So I'm inside Kodai, and here's the app that we're going to be building. So first of all, we have our templates and contacts. Inside our templates, we have some pre-written emails already ready to send. Got a couple of examples here, but for this case, I'm going to use the old body one. I've already pre-written the email and it will format that for us. So we can add images here, gifts, whatever you want. So all we're going to do here is go to sending. And we're just going to create a new row. We're going to say that the contact is me. And the email that we want to send is our onboarding template. So I'm going to hit send email now. And you'll see that it's done a couple of things. So first of all, it's deleted the email from the email sending. It's added a copy to our send messages. You can see another one that I did as a test. We can also open up to see what the email was that we sent. And then if I go into my Gmail, you'll see here that I have an email from me. And it contains all of the onboarding information that we had in our template. Saving hours. The key thing here to note is that you don't need a lot of technical experience to be able to build this. So let's try and build it ourselves in Coda. So we're going to start putting together the pages that we need for this document. First of all, we need a sending page, which is going to be the page that we'll be sending emails from. Secondly, we're going to build a send page, which lets us see who we send emails to. We need a table for contact, another one for template. I like to keep the data stuff hidden in its own page. So we're going to create a data holding page to know where our data is as well. What we do is just drag templates and contacts into that. So consider in the contest page to start the contacts table. Really simple. We're going to have a name for the user, which will be me. We don't want their email. Uh, maybe if you want their birthday as well, but in this case, we won't use the birthday column. So I'll just put in my email so that we can test this and then we'll delete the other two rows. All right. So that's the contact style. Now what we need is our templates. So we're going to create another table and give it the title templates. We can give it a name. In this case, I'll have an onboarding one. Leave the columns that we don't need. Uh, we need a subject, so we know what the subject's going to be when we send it. And then um, we're going to use this canvas column, which remember I spoke about before, to house the email that we write. And in this case, I'm going to call this email body. All right, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go to my example and just copy the onboarding email and put that into email body. And then the subject can be welcome to uh, IMS, for example, which is my company. All right, so we've got contacts, we've got a template. Now we need the actual stuff that's going to put everything together. So we have a table here in sending and call it sending. We need to know the contact that we're going to be sending the email to. Uh, we need to know what template we're going to be using. And then finally, we need a button. So I'm going to convert this column, this canvas column into a button. And we're going to give it the name of send. Don't worry about the actions for now. Boom. So that's those three parts. Now we just need to convert the contact into a lookup. So that means we can reference our email sendies. And then we're going to do the same for templates a lookup for templates so we can select our template as well from the other table. Finally, we just need to take what the house was being sent. Got to keep it really simple. So in this case, we'll say which contact that was and we'll supply and look up again for contacts. Uh, we need to know what the email was that was sent. So I'm just going to create a canvas column here for that to go. And we're going to create a date of when that was sent. We're going to convert this to a date column. And what we're going to do is rather than having to set it every time we do press the button, it sets the date. We can actually have been more clever. And you see here, it says value for new rows, date created. That means then every time we make a new row in this table, it's going to automatically cut the dates in for us. That's great. We can play this now and we have the template to get it. So finally, the last bit is get the button to actually do the thing that we needed to do, which is send the email. So we're just going to open the button settings. We're going to select an action, packs, and then Gmail. Now, code is going to ask you to set this up. So I'm going to add Gmail. I'm going to collect, select the Gmail account that I want it to send from. It's worth noting here, whichever Gmail account you choose is going to be the email address it sends. So if you want it to come from hello at your company rather than your personal email, make sure you sign in with that Gmail account. I'm going to make sure that anybody can use this because I want staff to be able to click the buttons as well. If you don't want that, then make sure they choose any year. All right, now that that's done, we've got the Gmail pack in. We're just going to go to select action again, packs gmail and send email you can see here they're sending from my account and we need to know who this to so we're going to press the equals button and we're just going to contact dot email simple 
Secondly, we want to say the subject. So we're going to go to template dot subject. And finally, for the content, we're going to do template dot bad, and I believe it's email body. But now that's all done, one final thing. Code of add a signature to the emails, which I don't like. So we're just going to hide the signature there. So now this should send the email. And we can test this by just going to my name, the onboarding email, and we hit send. Now you can see the emails can send. I can go to my Gmail. And you can see here that the email's been sent. But we just want to tie this up because we don't want emails to be in here. Instead, we want them to go into our send folder. And we want the emails in the sending tool to be deleted. So we're going to open up the button again. And we're going to have another formula view. I'm going to expand this so you can see it better. We're going to hit auto ball app, formula gets formatted. You'll see here that this is the formula that sends the email. And we want to run two more formulas. So we're going to do run actions. First of all, we're going to put an extra parentheses at the end of this send email. So now it's running the Gmail action. And then we want to add, we want to do two more. So we want to add a row. We want it to go to the sent table. We want to say that the contact is the contact in this row. And we want to say that the email is the template in this row. So we're just going to do again this row. Dot template, like the said. And the date, as you remember, or else the massive gets added. So we should also format that. Now you can see that we send an email and then we have a route. And we can test that by just clicking send. And now you can see in the send table, a copy of that email has been added with the contact, when it, the date that it was sent, and the email as well. Oh, snap. I'm just going to tidy this up because I've noticed that the email doesn't get added properly. So we're just going to do this dot row dot template dot email body. And now when we click this, I'm going to see the new row that's been added. You can see this put the email in for us. Now that it's done, we want one more thing to happen, which is we want to delete this row afterwards so that we have a nice clean tool, no previously sent emails in. So we're going to add another column to the end of this formula. And we're just going to do one more action, which is delete rows. And it's very simple. We just say delete this row. You can hit also format again just to make sure everything's tidy. Click done. Now that we hit sent, one row has been added, one row has been deleted, and our email has been sent. And you can see here that the emails are still being added to the trick, and our sending box is now empty, ready for the next email to be added. If you want to expand on this system, there's so many more things you can do. For example, can you use HTML to make your emails look more like a tech update rather than just a standard email tech? You can set up triggers so when something happens, like a customer purchases something, one of these emails gets sent automatically. Now that you've learned how to you automate your emails inside Coda, you're probably thinking, what's the next step? And if you haven't already, learning how to organize your business inside Coda is so crucial. So I would recommend watching this video next.